What's good, everybody? It's your boy Odell. Chilling, sitting here watching uh, Spartacus uh, Vengeance. Never really got a chance to watch this uh, since I've been back in the U.S. So uh, I heard it came out on uh, DVD, so I went on ahead and copped it so I can catch up with it. Uh, Sarong, king of the Jimi Hendrix figure is working on a uh working on Crixus and uh Animaeus as you see here uh getting I guess tortured by these guys. Anyway, um hopefully he does a Ganagus figure out that's just a must have. So I'd love to sit there and see the work uh that he does. Um with those figures when he uh, does it. Ooh, shit. That's one thing about this show. They don't hold the blood back at all. All right, but anyway. Oh, yeah, and you know what? Call me a jackass. I didn't even know that uh, that was... Um, I kept looking at this girl, and I was like, she looks familiar. And it's fucking uh, Xena, Warrior Princess. I didn't even know that was even her. So... Yeah, I'm an idiot for that one. Anyway, uh, let's see. Sideshow Freak member. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name there. Uh, he makes these decals for, you know, your stands. And uh, pretty much like Evil Face. Uh, his is a little bit different from Evil Face. His is a little bit more unique, though. I like the way that he can actually not only have you know what the figure is representing but you know a picture of the uh the actual character um just goes to show how cheap hot toys can be and i'm not knocking hot toys i'm just saying just you know if they can just uh for a little few more dollars add you know something like this on their stands so, but this is just amazing work that he's doing. I think it goes for about six bucks a decal. So, just amazing. Um, I, I bought 20, about, yeah, he sold a lot of 20 to me for like 20 something bucks. Uh, just things that he did a test run on and he didn't really, uh, he wanted to get rid of them. So, he sold them to me. Here's a deal, though, uh, for you guys. Anybody that has there will be blood, uh, lost, or breaking bad. If you got any of these figures, first come, first serve, just hit me up. They're yours. Uh, I'm not going to charge you anything. They're just yours. I don't want to toss these in the garbage because I don't have any of these figures. So anybody that has any of these that want uh, a decal, hit me up. Uh, but no, the rest of these I got actual uh figures for the joker uh the walking dead you know our boy so and so yeah <laughs> uh but yeah there's a terminator t uh, t2 that decal that he did that has arnold on it that i gotta get from him and then eventually when i get the t1000 uh he's got a decal for that as well so just amazing work from another customizer um shout out to uh sarong who just he just killed that Jimi hendrix uh figure literally is like hands down the best custom uh figure that has been done so far uh and for those who did not get a chance to uh, see it. It's a special night, Sunday night, here at Magnus Style. With my Let me turn it down. Uh, Darth Grey Skull and uh, One Six Scale, they got the video upload of the uh, actual figure, so gotta check it out. Um, and, and Carlos, man, I was just giving, <laughs> I was giving you shit, man. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if it was from the Cowboys beating up on the Giants that, uh, you know, you didn't mention my name, but dude, I was just busting balls. But anyway, um, and yeah, he knows what I'm talking about. Uh, man, fucking Hendrix is just off the chain. And let me see, where is it at? Where the guitar? 
the guitar alone is man that shit just made me want to fucking do backflips look at that shit I mean it's just it's crazy it's it's expensive but you know what it's the whole figure and accessories is just well worth it so just sick check out the video that's uh yeah it needs to be up by 300 by now so y'all need to hit up the video already uh let's see so yeah um working on a custom punisher uh got the mk48 in i actually shot one of them uh these things before and man not only is that fucker heavy but it does pack a punch uh yeah i got the decal on there for our boy here still waiting on the head uh, let's see the boots for the Punisher. Got the tactical pants for him. Just waiting on the uh, custom uh, sleeveless shirt from Tony that's got the skull on it. Uh, I'm gonna hook up Rick. Actually, there'll be another Rick coming from uh, season two. I'm actually curious, and I know this is gonna sound crazy, but you know it really depends on the price. I know. Sean and uh, Cato have been working on a season two Rick Grimes. I don't know if they're selling the actual figure or if they're selling the head sculpt with the gun, with the belt and the pants and the shirt that Cato is doing. So my thing is this, if the price is decent, I will get it. But if they start asking five, six hundred dollars for it, I'm just going to be like, you know what, dude? Your prices are just ridiculous. Just stop. So I don't know. Maybe somebody can fill me in and let me know. Every time I go to the thread, they're showing updates, but they're not putting out prices. So I really want to know what the uh, the price is. Honestly, I don't even need the head sculpt. I can get another head sculpt from somebody else. I just want to know the cost with everything else. Now, an outfit, I will go no higher than I will not go over $200 for it. Uh, yeah, that's just me not going to go over 200 for it. But, uh, oh yeah. And here's more of, you really can't see it. Nah, that sucks. Uh, this is Sarong's work again. Andy Whitfield from, um, you know, of course, Spartacus Elvis, 1976. He painted this up, but I'm going to give, uh, I'm gonna give these to Ski, and I want to. His eyes just look way too big, so I'm gonna give it to Ski and let him. Uh, there we go. All right, do some work on it, and um, because I got these uh, Spartacus figures, I want to knock out. So I've got Spartacus, uh, Bruce Willis from Die Hard, some more uh, characters to go with Rick here from The Walking Dead. I uh, plan on working on. Uh, Sam and Dean from my my shit from Supernatural, I love that show, and uh, got another Bruce Wayne I'm working on, and when Denny Kim finishes up on the Matrix, hopefully they start on Lethal Weapon, I'll definitely be uh, grabbing those. Sarong, I believe his next piece that he's gonna be doing is Bob Marley. Uh, that's what he mentioned before, so he's gonna be doing Bob Marley. He's going to do uh, Led Zeppelin, and by next year, by the start of next year, I believe he's going to work on Prince. So if he does Prince, man, and, and completely just, uh, I hope he kills it. Uh, Jimmy right now, of course, is on, on the top of uh, custom uh, figures by Sarong, but I'm going to tell you right now, if he does Prince, and I hope he, he just destroys uh every figure that he's done with uh with the prince because i'm a i'm a big prince fan and i would love to see that um uh, i would love to see that be done right so uh stay up here so yeah those are the figures he's going to be working on next along with like i said he's doing animaeus and uh crixus and hopefully he does uh uh, again, I guess so I can add the rest up to there and uh, yeah, Blondie, I am working on. I found uh, 
you know what? <laughs> Back to this from what I did last night. Nobody has bid it on this since last night. I said, you know what? I'm just going to throw it up to $800 and see what happens. And no shit. Five minutes later, uh, the same dude outbidded me by $10. And it has not been touched since. So I'm sitting back in the cut. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. Why would you bid even more and make the price even go up higher when they're still like five days left on this thing so i know what's going to happen when the time gets ready to come down where it's like maybe a minute left because i don't think anybody's going to spend over nine hundred dollars on this figure I, I just don't see it so i'm not saying it's not worth it but i nine hundred bucks from i mean shit what's him call it rain man shit wasn't even that much so i really don't see or maybe it was i don't know i think rain man was exp uh, more than this Anyway, I don't see anybody spending 900 bucks on this. So I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get a second chance offer because of the fact that I bid it on there. And they'll say, oh, you know, you can get this for 800 bucks. No, I'll pass. I don't like shady shit. So uh, Steve-O or Steve from Steve-O, I don't know. He owns a website where he does uh, a lot of uh, Western outfits uh, rigs guns you name it um, he's gonna build up the whole outfit of blondie for me and I think I'm only paying about 155 bucks for everything and I just got to get the head sculpt and then that's it so MRA hit me up if uh, I'm sure you probably know what I'm talking about but if you don't hit me up and uh, I'll direct you that way but yeah, this is just, this is ridiculous. And I mean, he, he puts out some good ass figures, but uh, I don't know. I think there's just some shady shit going on behind that. So anyway, more figures uh, to uh, come by or to uh, more figures to come just uh, probably later on next, yeah, this week, hopefully. So, yeah, y'all, Jimmy is going to go at the top over there, probably by himself. So maybe he won't be by himself. Maybe there'll be another Jimmy there, too. Yeah, you just don't know. All right, y'all. Peace, man.